All right, we're having our uh, unit test uh, coming up on Thursday. So on the review, very similar to the test, a lot of uh, percentages, ratios, fractions type questions. Um, so in this one, looking at uh, this information, students are surveyed on what do they like to drink more, cola or lemon lime, different grades. And we're going to tell whether the statement is true or false based on the information they answer. And we have to explain why it's true or false. So 25 more seventh graders prefer cola than lemon lime. Uh, no. Uh, it's not 25 more. 25 students prefer lemon lime, but it's not more than, uh, or 25 students prefer cola, but it's not more than lemon lime. Uh, so the statement is false because 15 fewer. Student seventh graders, seventh graders uh, prefer cola. Okay. Looking at the next question, the ratio of seventh graders who prefer cola to lemon lime is five to eight. Now seventh graders who prefer cola to lemon lime, so. 25 to 40, and that reduces what number goes on the 25 and 40? Well, 5 does, 5 to 8. So it is true because 25 to 40 reduces to 5 to 8. C. 40% of the students surveyed preferred cola. Okay, now it means I have to go through and I have to add up all these to find out how many students there are total because a percent is a part to a whole. So I got to know how many liked cola and how many there were total. So if I add these up, I get 104. If I add these up, I get 156. So what I'm asking here is 104 my part compared to, oh, what's the whole number of students? I have to put these two together. 104 plus 156 is 260. So I take my fraction, change it to a percent. I divide 104 divided by 260. That gives me 0 0.4 times by 100 to make it a percent. 40%. So it's true. 104 out of 260 students is 40%. Question number four. Three-fourths of the sixth graders prefer lemon lime. Now, three-fourths of the sixth grade this is a fraction, and a fraction is part of a whole. So, uh, prefer lemon lime. 48. 48 out of how many are there total? 112. So the question is, is that the same as 3 fourths? What number goes into 48 and 112? Uh... 16 does, I think. So I do 48 divided by 16. That's 3. And 112 divided by 16. That's 7. So the answer is false. 3 sevenths prefer lemon lime. Now, if you did this as a ratio, 48 over 64, it's going to come out to 3 to 4 ratio, but this is a fraction. It's not a ratio. Fraction is part to whole, ratio part to part. So that one is really tricky. Careful. Page 2. Okay, we're doing uh, here, we're doing which one is the juiciest? And to find out which one has the highest amount of K, 
concentrate, and probably the easiest way to look at that is as a percent because it's right there easy. To get a percent, a percent, a percent is part of a whole. So my part would be 8. My whole is not 5. That will give me a ratio. But if I want to do a percent, part to a whole is 13. 8, change that to a percentage. 8 divided by 13 is that, times 100. It's approximately 62%. Do the next one, 6 out of 9, 6 divided by 9, point 0.6 repeating, times 100, if you can't move that decimal point, 66 point, so if I round that off to the nearest percentage, it's approximately 67%, it's clearly much higher here, even though there's a lot less concentrate, but it works out to a higher percentage, all right? This one is going to be 9 out of 15. 9 divided by 15 times by 100. Move that decimal point over. 60%, and that's exact. And then I have 3 out of 8. I'm sorry, 5. 5 out of 8. 5 divided by 8 times 100. And if we go to the nearest whole percentage, that would be 63%. So the one that has the mo is going to be the most aptly is going to be mix X. Mix X uh, is the most aptly with 67% concentrate. Okay, if you make a single batch, what fraction of the batch is concentrate? I already did all the fractions. So, uh, mix W is 8 thirteenths. Mix X is 6 ninths, but let's reduce. 3 goes into both of these. Mix X is 2 thirds. Mix Y. 9 fifteenths, 3 goes into both of those. 3 fifths. Mix Z, 5 eighths. Okay? Um, so what are these as percents? W, X, Y, Z, because the next problem just asks for percents. 62.5%. 60%. This one was 66.6 .6 repeating percent, or if you use 67, I'm going to be okay with rounding off to the nearest hole. And this one was 61.6%, and that's approximate. D, if I only had one cup of mix, how much concentrate would I need for mix W? Well. I could go for percentage, but that's approximated. It's nice to have the exact answer. And my answer on the calculator was 8 divided by 13 times 100, if I want to do percent. Yeah, it doesn't stop. It just goes on. So use an exact answer. We already have it. So 8 thirteenths cups concentrate. And, well, how many cups of water am I going to need? Well, I could go right back to the original recipe, 5 out of 13. Or, what do I add to 8 to get 13? 5 thirteenths cups water. So if I add these two together, it gives me 13 out of 13, or one full cup. Taking a look at the back. Joel can drive his car at 423 miles at a steady speed using 18 gallons of gasoline. Make a rate table showing the number of miles his car can be driven at speeds or at uh, with gallons 1, 2, 3, up to 10 gallons. Now before I start, I want to know how many miles per gallon he gets. 
The word per means divide. So all you got to do is do what it says right here. 423 divided by 18 gallons. And if I do that, that's going to give me 23.5 miles per gallon. So when I'm making my table, miles, gallons, my gallons are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is 23.5. 23.5 times 2, 47. 23.5 times 4, 94. 23.5 times 3, uh, I should have left myself a little bit more room here. I was just quick and sloppy. Uh, so you can go right down the cart chart and multiply it out, 70 and a half. Or each time you're going up a gallon, you're getting another 23 and a half miles. Mm, so filling in that chart should be pretty easy with that. Okay, here. Who is the fastest walker? So we want to know who's going the fastest mile per hour. Again, miles divided by hour. So the first one, four miles and 0.75 hours. Now, this is tricky because what a lot of kids are going to want to do